going to cover each eye, okay? And this uh, might make uh, the dot hop around a little bit. Does the dot hop or is it staying still? It moves. Is it going up and down or side to side? Side to side. Okay. Now I'm just going to take a measurement. Just look into my open eye for me. That's it. Now that's my other one. Back again. Back once more. And again, any better with one? Or with two? One. Yeah. One's a bit better, yeah? Yeah, one's much better now. Okay, just going to have a look at the outside of your eyes first. What can you manage down to for me? You are on the top. Mm -hmm. U E N, mm -hmm. then U E N. So this is the optic nerve. Uh, the optic nerve is um, what takes all the information uh, off to the brain and turns yeah. it into an image for us. Um, it's also known as the blind spot. Okay. Um, because it's just neural tissue. There's no photoreceptors there at all. So, um, so thankfully, we don't see this big area of nothing in our vision because uh, our brain fills it in nicely for us. Have a seat then for us. Thank you. Oh, morning. Morning. I'm Richard Hollingsworth. Good to see you. Oh, nice to meet you. So, sight test time then for you, is it? Yeah. yeah? <laughs> so I will take some notes, okay? All right. Oh, yeah, of course. So how, how are things vision-wise for you? How are you yeah. seeing? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Mm -hmm. I definitely need to wear my glasses when I'm watching uh, television. Okay, yeah. So, so you're using it for mainly distance, are you? Mainly distance, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's reading, close work, things like that? Um, reading, if it's on an actual like physical book, I'm yeah. fine. Um, also fine if I'm like on my phone like really close. Okay, yeah. Um, but on a computer screen, sometimes I get a bit of eye strain if I don't wear them. Don't wear your specs, yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you ever get any double vision? Uh, See through of anything? No, no. Mm -hmm. Good. That's what I'd like to hear. So, um, work wise, what are you doing there? So I'm an admin assistant, okay. so lots of Excel lots, spreadsheets. Lots of computers, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much time do you spend on a computer? Is that a dangerous question? Yes, <laughs> quite. I mean, it's over over seven hours okay, a day. Okay, so a fair time then, yeah. <laughs> and then devices at the... Uh, yeah, then I come yeah. home and edit for YouTube. Okay, so, <laughs> so quite a few. Uh -huh. How do you find that, vision-wise? Um, yeah, I do get the occasional headaches from okay. it. Okay, um, yeah. yeah. Any particular time of day? Um, mainly, yeah, like 4 or 5 p.m., like okay. nearing the end of my work day when it's just, I want to take a break but can't because of work. Right. Yeah. And how often do you get those? Um... Recently, it's a lot. It's a lot better when I am actually wearing my glasses. Okay. So that helps, it does. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so sometimes me just not prop wearing them all the time when I should. Enough. Be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anything in the vision? Any floaty, dotty bits? Any flashy, lighty bits? Uh, no. No. Okay. Great stuff. And how's your health? Um. Yeah. Pr pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Any pills and potions at the moment? Um, does, does supplements count? Um, Anything prescribed, really? No, no just vitamin D okay. supplements. So. Yeah, we don't get enough sunshine in this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice today, though, actually. Yeah. Is it nice out there? Yeah, yeah it's quite sunny. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> we all go. <laughs> I'll find it later. Yeah. <laughs> it's the only problem with this job, you sit in the dark all day. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely and cool in here, though. Pleasures of air conditioning, you see, it's, it's a good nice. thing, isn't it? Um, now, any trips to the hospital for your eyes at any stage? Um, not to the hospital. Once okay. as 
I say a kid, I think I was like 12 or 13, mm -hmm. I had a conjunctivitis. Okay, yep. Um, but I don't remember it being super bad. I okay, think. just gummy. Yeah, yeah no. just gross, yeah. Yeah, it's but not much fun, conjunctivitis. No, I remember the GP saying that it might have been, I used a very dodgy mascara or something. Right, okay. So. Yes, they go out of date, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> and most people never throw them away. <laughs> yeah, they always use the same one. Indeed. And um, anybody in the family with any eye problems at all? Um, yes, but I don't really know the details, but my okay. mum has a very, very particular prescription. Okay. I know in one of her eyes she has, um, I can't remember what it's called, the dot that like moves all around or something. Okay. So she got glaucoma or...? It, it's not one of the... Not one of those ones, no. okay. So is it trying to control her eyes together, do you know? I just know it's, she's very particular about what lenses she has to okay. have in and without them she can't... She can't so, function with them. Yeah, okay. whereas I can kind of be fine without them if... Yeah. Yes, yeah, you can survive, <laughs> okay. But any diabetics or glaucoma in oh, the family? Oh, diabetic, yes, yeah. Who's diabetic? So my gran and my aunt. Okay. They get that later in life, do you know? Yes. Yeah. Yes, quite recently, I think so. Just over 50, my aunt got it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tends to be a later life thing, unfortunately. Mm. Uh, right. mm. Okay, no cataracts or anything like that in. No. No, no okay. All mm. right. So, uh, do you drive? No. No, okay. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why they put this on here. I assume you don't smoke. No, no, no I don't. Good stuff. Do you ever wear contact lenses at all? No, no, I'm a bit scared of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right, okay. Sorry about that. It's always 20 questions to start with, okay? I know, it's all right. But they're quite easy ones, aren't they? Yeah. So, shall we have a little look and see what you've seen today? Okay. So, let me take you up a little bit. Okay, so I'm just going to go up a bit. And can you can you see in front of you? There's a mirror. Oh yes. Yep. Yeah. And um, I'm just going to cover your eye. There we go. And uh, well, can you see any of the letters on there? Uh, yeah, I can read the top V and Z. Okay. And then it's R E N. Well done. And N mm -hmm. F. Yeah. One. H. Yeah, okay. P. Nice. Any any of the next one at all? I think some of them I I can get like okay. I can get the N. Yeah. But I don't know if that's an F or an R. Oh right. And then it's an R. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, the second one is an F. If that's an R. Okay. Am I overthinking it? No, yeah. <laughs> Good guess is fine. Z and H. Okay. Yeah, I could read that one, it's just a bit Blurry. Bit miss and and is the next one down really out. Okay, no, so that is. <laughs> <laughs> we push, don't we? we it was a P. <laughs> uh, let's cover this now. Swap the letters over, okay? Okay. So have a peek there. Uh, and uh, what can you manage down to for me? U R on the top. Mm -hmm. U E N. Mm -hmm. Then U E N. V or an M, V, V, okay. D, F, V, R, E. Well done. And the next one? Maybe an F. Okay. N, F. Okay. O, F. Okay, bits and bobs, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, one of them was an F, I guess. Yeah, one of them was an F. <laughs> Try though. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. But let me give you this, and hopefully this looks a lot easier. Have a hold of that. Can you see the very small one there for me? Uh, the the yeah. M5, yes, yeah. That's that quite easy, is it? Yeah. And if I cover that one, can you still see it there? Yeah. And can you still see it there? Yeah. Lovely. And if you move it in towards your nose, tell me it goes smudgy. Oh, on your nose, okay. Smudgy. <laughs> well done, that's good. So, on my letter chart out in the mirror again, 
On the third lineup, can uh, in fact from uh, let's not go to the third line up because you're gonna have a struggle with that one, <laughs> aren't you? Let's try mid dot. Can you see the green dot then? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. So keep looking at mid dot. I'm just gonna cover each eye, okay? And this uh, might make uh, the dot hop around a little bit. Does the dot hop or is it staying still? It moves. Is it going up and down or side to side? Side to side. Okay. Can you see my little white dot here? Yep. Keep looking at that for me again. And again, is that just moving slightly? Uh, or is it yeah. staying still? Um, I think it's moving side to side. <laughs> it's a little bit side to side, okay. So keep looking at the dot for me. I'm going to make it go cross eyed with this and watch it coming in. Watch it coming in. Watch it. Okay, well done. You can cross eyes, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. It, uh, it's a bit strange, that one, isn't it? <laughs> Makes your eyes go a bit funny. But that's good. Now, I'm just going to take a measure. Just look into my open eye for me. That's it, that one. Back again. Back one. Start off and have a little look and see what's going on. So I'm going to pop this onto your. Um, I'll just clean this beforehand, okay? So I'm going to pop your forehead on here, and then we're going to look through the little eyeglasses, okay? So let me pop that in there. So if you le- lean forward against it, that's lovely. Is that all right there for you? Yeah. Can we see you nearly? Let me take it up just a little bit. There we go. That better? Yes, we can see you now, can't we? <laughs> So I'm going to blur things a little bit more for you now, okay? Okay. Um, so this will get a bit blurry, okay? Okay. So. Blow both nicely for you. Okay. Can you see my green colour there out in the distance? Uh, yeah, it's like a traffic light, like yeah. red and green. Yeah. That's a bit hard to see it though, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to shine a bit of a light into your eyes, okay? Okay. And uh, won't be that bright, but we just want to have a little look, see what the vision's getting up to you first. So look at the green for me. Uh, nice and blurry though, isn't it? Hopefully that looks a bit clearer. Feel a bit lopsided. You've got one eye clear and one eye not, okay? Yeah. So can you see the circles on the red and green? Yeah. Which ones look better? Circles red or circles green? Green, I think. Green a little bit, yeah? Yeah. How about with that one? Red. Red one, okay. Let's go back to that. So, I'm going to change to a set of dots. Let me move to my dots. There you go. Can you see my dots there? Yeah. I'm going to place two lenses, one and two. I'd like you to tell me which one makes the dots any clearer for you, okay? Okay. So, that's number one. Or is it better number two? Um, I think two is okay. better. Okay, do it again. That's one. And that's two. Oh, uh, Or is it not much They're not either? that much different. They're pretty similar? Yeah. Any better with one or with two? One. Yeah. One's a bit better, yeah? Yeah, one's much better. Now. Okay. This, this one's much better. Yep, yeah, first one? Yeah. Better than that one, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's 
CRISPR. And again, we go to the first one. Or the second one. First one. That one was a bit easier, yeah? Yeah. And that's the uh, first one again. Or that second one. First one. First one, yeah. And that's first again. And second. First. Oh wait, yeah, the first, I think. And we'll try that once more. Any better with the first lens or the second one? Um, maybe the second, actually. Second is better? Yeah. yeah. And again, any better with that first one or the second one? I honestly can't. They're very similar, are they? Yeah. yeah. Not much in those two. I don't think so. Okay, that's good. Let's go back to that. Oh, it's so clear. <laughs> Can you see my reds and greens again? Yeah. Which one this time stands out better? Red. Red a little bit, okay. And with this one? Green. Lovely. Red. Uh, red one a bit? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to my letters and uh, what's the smallest line you can see there for me? I think I can read the bottom okay. actually, yeah. Have a go for me. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. starting to doubt myself uh, now. Uh, I think it F R D V P. Ah, uh, very good. Now does it look any clearer with this one? No, the one before That one's a bit better, yeah, is it? Better. Lovely. And any clearer here? Or better first one? First one, this one, yeah. Okay. Shall we see if you've got eagle vision? <laughs> Any of that one? Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> H. Yep. Oh my god. F. Yep. V. E. U M. Yeah, well done. That's very good indeed. Did I get them all? You did. <gasps> you'll, you'll do. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> good vision. Lovely level. Oh, that's great. Right, that's when you could do it without the glasses. No, well, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> unfortunately a different story, isn't it? Can some people actually read that without glasses? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, unfortunately you're that little bit short sighted. Yeah. Uh, which means you can see things nice and closely to you. Yeah. But, of course, everything in the distance is a bit more of a struggle, isn't it? Yeah, it's always the, the train times. I can never read yeah. them on the board. It's so annoying. Unless you squint at them a bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they just keep blinking, uh, yeah. It comes in a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. So let's go back to red and green. I'm going to swap eyes, OK? OK. There we go. And can you see the circles again for me? Yep. And which one this time stand out better? Uh, red. OK. Oh. That one. And this one? Green, 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 a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay. And we'll go dotty again, okay? Okay. There we go. So, is it any better with that first lens? Second lens? First. First a bit better, yeah? Yeah. And let's try any better with three? No, it's quite blurry. Or with four? Oh, four is great. Four is good, okay. <laughs> four is so clear. So I'm going to do lens one and two again, okay? Okay. So any clearer with the first lens there? Or the second lens? Second. First one, second one. First one. And that's first again. Second. First. And first again. Second. Second. And again, 
any clearer with uh, the first one here? Um, or the second one? Th this one right now, I think. That's a right. little better, is it? Yeah. yeah. And again, any get the first one. Second one. First one. That looks dotty again for you. Yeah, yeah, it's really clear now. And if we go back to the letters, can you see the bottom one? Yep. yep. U V H R Z. Well done. It's actually easier on this side. It feels a bit easier, does it? Okay. Yeah. Any sharper there? Uh, um, I don't think. So. I think the, this one's sharper. Is that a bit better? Okay. Yeah. Any clearer here? Uh, or with the first one. I. The, so this one's clearer. That yeah. one's better. Or does it just look a bit blacker? Uh, okay, it's like same difference. Yeah, pretty similar. Okay. <laughs> let me just let this one out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blur things a bit for you. Okay. Okay. And can you see? In fact, can you see my letters there? Yes. Which one? Um, uh, still managing the bottom line. Uh, yeah, yeah. M P D U Z. Okay, any clearer there? Um, I don't think. Or better with that one? Yeah, better with this one. Okay. Let me come back to. I'm just going to fold this one. And just unfold that one. There we go. And again, let me give you some new letters. Can you see the bottom line again? H N F U R. And is it any clearer with this one? Oh, yeah, it is. A little bit easier there. Yeah. yeah. Any better with that one? The one before was better. That one's better. better. Yeah. Lovely. And come back to this one. Unfold that one. That feel a bit better now? Yeah, it's great. It's so clear. Looking quite well down the bottom there? <laughs> yeah. And if I give you that one back again, does, oh, that, look, does that look quite easy? Um, it's not easy, but I can, I can okay. try. <laughs> Have a go. Um... Oh gosh, it, it's a P P Z mm -hmm. U mm -hmm. H, H and N. Well done, that's very good. Uh, H's and N's look so similar. They do. P's and F's as well are very close, aren't oh, they? Oh gosh, yeah. But that looks really good. Oh, yeah. You've got lovely, very good vision once it's corrected. Oh, that's very, great. Very good. <laughs> good to hear. So let's just have a look at your near vision, just make sure that's yeah. uh, doing what it should be. So I'm just going to get in the way. And can you see the um, N5 there again? Oh, yeah. Is that quite easy to see? Yeah, yeah. And can you still see it here? Yeah, it's easy to see. And can you still see it there? Yep. And still see it there? Yep. You'll do. You'll do nicely. Well done. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, let's let you loose out of this horrible thing. Well done. Good. Well, yeah, you, you're definitely short-sighted. Uh, but once corrected, your vision is really, really good. It's a lovely level. Um, so, you see um, at least a line better than the 100% line, so that's, uh, that's really good. Really okay. sharp vision. But you do need your glasses on to do that. That's the only thing. Okay. Close to, yeah, not such an issue. You, you're, you're, uh, does what it says on the tin. You're short sighted, so you can, yeah. you can still see close to. Um, you have a wee bit of, a, of astigmatism, which is to do with the shape of the eye. Yes, that, that's what I meant. Sorry, with my mum. It was astigmatism. Bit of astigmatism. Ah, okay, fair news. <laughs> yeah, so um, you have a little bit, but not a lot. Okay. okay? Uh, but it just, as you saw, it just makes it absolutely pin sharp when that's in there. Mm -hmm. But you've only got a small bit, okay? So okay. it's not a, not a huge a huge problem for you, okay? So let's have a closer look at your eyes, just see what they're up to, shall we? Let's pop you onto this thing. And if I can ask you just to lean forward and pop your chin on the chin rest there. Is that all right there for you? Now this is going to get nice and bright, okay? 
you like to look at my ear this side for me? I'm just going to have a look at the outside of your eyes first. Look up for me and look down, straight ahead again. Have you noticed a little bit of pigmentation at the edge of your eye uh, on this side? Any what is that like happening? Like colours? Yeah, just a little brown mark at the edge of the eye there. Um, I don't think I've no, no. No, not being aware of it. Okay. Have a yeah, little... I might just not be aware of no, it. Okay. Or something. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. I thought it was makeup in my eyes. Yeah. Look up for me and look down straight ahead again. I'm just going to have a look at the back of the eyes as well, okay? So I'm just going to turn the lights back up. Okay, look past my ear this side, thanks. So very bright this one, okay? Look up at the ceiling for me. Over to the left. Over to the right. Look down for me. And again, if you look at my ear, this side of the thing. Look up for me. Over to the left. Over to the right. Look down again for me. Okay. And you can sit back again for me, thanks. Thank you. Good. I've got nice purple spots in your vision now. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, let me, let me explain a little bit about that brownie. So you've got some pigmentation at the uh, just on your on the white of your eye at this side. Okay, all right. Um, it's nothing um, uh, to worry about, um, but it's worth just um, having a look at it every now and again. I so have a look in the mirror every now and again. Just make sure it stays the the same sort of shape and uh, and size. Okay. Is it it's, this side? Yeah, or is it it's just towards here? the the oh, ear. Yeah. Um, yeah, have a look in the mirror because a good thing about. Uh, uh, being short so you can see it nice and clearly. <laughs> yeah. You just see a little mark there, and that's a little pigmentation, okay? All right. Okay. It's nothing serious. Um, sometimes they can um, increase in size, and then we get a little bit more worried about them, but I think this is just um, a, a little pigmentation that's there for you, okay? All right. Oh, will that have been there since I was born, or is uh, it? Probably. Yeah, okay. It's probably been there a fair while. I must not look at myself enough. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look deeply into your own eyes. That's <laughs> but uh, but it's something to keep a, a watch on. Okay. Okay. Um, let me draw a little diagram. And then you can see where it is then. So it's around about here. Oh, okay. Okay. Just a few oh, pigments. Yeah, I think someone's actually mentioned yeah. that to you before. Okay. Uh, so what are you on about? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so it's a little pigment term deposit there, okay? It's very superficial, it's it, it it's very innocuous, okay. It's probably just you, alright. Okay. So but it's worth just just watching it okay. 
Yeah. And if you suddenly start going, hello, that's getting bigger and more noticeable. Yeah. Then. Uh, what exactly? Why does it? Well, we just we just sometimes get these odd um, pigment um, um, cells disperse themselves around the eye. So oh. sometimes they're right next to the to the to the um, clear part of the eye here. Yeah. And sometimes they're dotted all over the conjunctiva. Um, they're, so if they start to grow, then we get more worried about them because they can be significant to other problems. But uh, but yours mm. does not look like that at all. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yours just looks like a normal pigmented uh, area. But it's just okay. worth knowing it's there. Okay? Yeah. Well, thank you for That's alerting right. me to it. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the eyes look very happy. The back of the eyes look very good too. Nice, happy, healthy eyes. Mm. Um, we'll have a little look at your scans in a moment, okay? I want to see what they're up to. Okay. So, as I say, eyes look very good. Um, nice, healthy eyes. Uh, they work well together. Just that bit short-sighted. Um, that little pigmented bit, but as I say, don't get overstressed about that. Just, just every now. Probably you're going to go and watch it now, aren't you? Gonna go, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> just keep, keep a watch on it. Okay. okay. All right. It's the best thing. Um, and um, I think uh, review again in about a year's, uh, sorry, a couple of years' time, okay, okay. would be good. Let me just uh, show you your pictures. So we did some um, three-dimensional scanning of your retina. So this is the optic nerve. Uh, the optic nerve is um, what takes all the information uh, off to the brain and turns yeah. it into an image for us. Um, it's also known as the blind spot. Okay. Um, because it's just neural tissue, there's no photoreceptors there at all. So, um, so thankfully, we don't see this big area of nothing in our vision because uh, our brain fills it in nicely for us. So, um, these are all your nerve fibers, about one and a half million nerve fibers that go down your optic nerve. So, it's a fair few, isn't it? Um, and we look at these and we look at the optic nerve to see how healthy uh, A, your vision is, but also how healthy you are as well. So, there are certain uh, issues that can be seen on that, and yours are perfectly healthy, okay, all right. Oh, wow. um, but also what this does, it takes a measurement of the thickness of it. Yeah. So what it does is it, um, it it's it's a bit like a big ring donut, okay, with a hole in the middle, yeah. and that's where all the blood vessels come out. Um, and it's a bit hard to assess that, so what this machine does is it flattens it all out for us. So it takes that donut and flattens it for us, okay. And then we can look at the thicknesses in, in different areas, so as you can see, it goes a bit thick and thin in different places. Yeah. Um, we have different bundles, so the, the superior bundles are always a bit, and the inferior ones a bit thicker, um, because that's the ones that do the major part of our vision for us. They do the very sharp part of our vision, okay. And they go to this area here, which is called the fovea. And we look at those for damage or, or loss of um, um, thickness, uh, and this can indicate something called glaucoma, okay. Um, but as you can see, yours are nicely within the um, the green um, statistical, yes, you're okay. Mm -hmm. So that looks very good. So yeah. the optic nerve on your right eye looks very happy. It's so interesting. And uh, what we'll do is go to this one. Now this one does this foveal area. And as you can see, you see there's a little dip here? Yes. And the dip is there um, because it spreads all of the nerve fibres away from your vision. So uh, all around the rest of the peripheral part of your eye, the light has to pass through all of these 10 layers of the retina to get to the bottom layer, or the 10th layer, which is your photoreceptor layer. So the only place it doesn't do it is this foveal area, and this is our sharpest vision. Okay. Okay, so this area is about as thick as a, or about as large as a, um, uh, a pinhead in real life. It's tiny, tiny, and it's what's yeah. responsible for all our um, so if I spin that round, oh, that little white. so it's that little bit in there, and you see if I change it now, you can see it becomes 3D. So you have it dip, dips down in that dip, yeah. and if I move this back, we can take little sections through your eyes, chop it up nicely, but thank you only with light. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see there's that little dip area. Yeah. Okay. And then as we move back past it, it goes out of that area. Um, so. You can see all the blood vessels as well point in towards that. So the blood vessels don't pass across it, otherwise you get a dirty grey line across your vision. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed when I was shining the light in, you saw some like tree branches. I, I did, yeah. yeah. And this is your blood vessels. This is the... Because the, they sit on top 
of your retina uh, and the photoreceptors are underneath. So when we shine a bright light in, you get a nice little um, shadow of your own blood vessels. And I saw my own blood vessels. Indeed. That's and and so as you can cool. see here, you can see here these sort of lines here. This is the shadow. Okay. All these little shadows because the light doesn't get through your blood vessels very well because it's strange enough full of blood. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so that's that's your fovea, and that looks lovely and healthy as well. That's good. So again, we can see um, other changes. You know, for instance, if you had diabetes things like that, you can see it quite avidly um, in these. It's images. amazing that the eyes show the health of the body. They show a lot of different, um, lot of different problems, a lot of neurological problems, things like this as well. So um, the I'll, I'll show you our field test plot in a moment. Um, so again, same for the for the left eye. Mm. Um, nice, happy, foveal area. Um, if we get the profile again, we can bring that up, and you can see here your nice foveal area. But uh, yeah, we're talking what thickness of that area? Two hundred and twelve microns. Microns less than a quarter of a millimeter. That's how thick that is. I can imagine it. Tiny, tiny, isn't tiny. it? Tiny. Tiny. And uh, consequently, that, that area is really, really small, but essential for our very good vision. We start losing this, we start losing our very good vision. So, um, mm. lots of um, elderly people get something called age related macular degeneration, and this actually affects this central part. So, mm. you start losing central vision. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, with some of it, it's untreatable. So, they just generally quietly lose their central vision, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. So, uh, does, does it does the hole get deeper or like shallower? Or no, you start to lose the photoreceptors at the back, so oh, you start okay. getting lumpy bits at the back of it, and oh. it's uh, and that's just age. Yeah, time, time. Mm. Yeah, it's. Uh, thank you. You've got miles off that <laughs> if you ever get it at all, which is good. Yeah, fingers crossed. Yes, yeah, so, and hopefully they'll find a cure for it in that time as well, which would be very useful. Yeah. So that looks all very good. Let's have a look at your field plot again. So, um, as I say, this does your peripheral vision. Oh, so the, 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 the square in the centre, or if you like, the target in the centre is that foveal area. We test a lot of that in here, so we know that that's working well. Mm. So what we do is fire dots into the periphery and get you to see if you can see them. Yeah. Um, and you did very well. You didn't miss any points. The um, the background illumination is, is, is a nice level as well. Sometimes we have to increase or decrease that. Okay. And that can be a problem. Um, but your, yours is looking very good. Oh, it's good. very happy and, uh, and normal. Oh. Um, if Sometimes if there's a lesion, let's say we have a, a stroke or we have a, um, maybe a, a, a growth within our head, mm. um, it can be picked up in these field tests because you start to lose areas on it. Oh, that would be connected to the... That's right, because the, the visual pathway goes all the way to the visual cortex at the back. And of course there's a pathway through the brain. Um, so if anything's going on in there, um, you can sometimes pick it up with field tests. You can't pick everything yeah. up, but yeah. certainly... Uh, and, and it can be quite um, diagnostic, so you can lose one half of the vision. Mm. Um, and that tends to be much further back. As it yeah. comes up, you maybe get just quadrants, uh, and then as you come towards the front of the eye, you maybe even get one eye affected. So, mm -hmm. so it's it's quite diagnostic for many different things. Yeah, well, it would be good to find out, and then if you did have something wrong, at least you exactly. know. So, so yeah. you know, if there's anything going on, we can say right. That needs to be reviewed. Yeah, I never knew treated. it was so linked, like, to other health issues. Absolutely. That you could spot. Yeah, yeah. There's there's uh, there's a. a a vast quantity of um, information that your eyes do tell us yeah. about the, your general health. Um, and I'm glad to say yours is lovely. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah it's, it's always really, good to hear at really the end good, of the day. Really nice. <laughs> so all in all, I think very good. Um, Great. I think we should uh, uh, see how things go. And uh, so I'll put you down for a couple of years anyway. Okay. Um, if you find vision changes or you've got any issues, you okay. can pop back in and see us here. Yeah. All right. Any questions at all? Um, I think, yeah, no, no, I can't think of anything. Okay. Too bad. Well, if you've got any yeah. questions, we can. Oh.
Yeah. Yeah. I knew yeah. one would come. Um, so if I am, if I am occasionally lazy and yes. I am watching television without yeah. my glasses on, yeah. from far away, and I can feel a bit of eye strain, but I'm not using. You're okay them. with it, yeah. Am I making them worse? No. Okay. No. I'm glad to say the glasses are, are not um, what's called therapeutic. They they only aid your vision when it's the wrong. It's okay. not going to suddenly, you're going to go, oh, I'm going to go much more short-sighted if I don't wear them. Okay. Okay, all right. There is some evidence saying that if you do a lot of close work, just oh, generally, all right. computer screens, devices, yeah. uh, that it may be encouraged you to become more myopic. Um, but you're getting more into the safe country now, uh, at your time, shall we say. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so... Um, it's good to give yourself breaks from devices and things like this. So yeah. if you're doing a little bit of close work, just make sure you look away from the screen every now and again. Um, okay. Not just the 20 minutes every four hours or whatever it is. So just have a little mini break. So, yeah. we're, our, um, our eyes are not designed to be fixed at one point. We, we, we're never really made to look at one thing for many hours. We okay. were used, you know, designed to sit in treetops looking at wildebeest running past yeah, and uh, yeah. and and then you know pick at something close to and things like this not just look close to so our eyes are not pretty well adapted for for close stuff so we mm -hmm. make that uh, sort of environment again so we do a little bit we look at the window here a little bit and we look over here we're in the cross an office um, my best advice is though don't ever look at the clock though because that'll just drive you mad <laughs> okay <laughs> so, the window is much better <laughs> But yeah, yeah just 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 develop a, a little habit so that you're yeah, okay. you not know, overdoing it. Yeah, I'd always thought it was like digital versus like an actual book, and yeah. then that was a break. But I guess it's actually any close any... to yeah, yeah. So okay. so it's good just to relax your eyes and let them refocus in the distance, uh, and then bring them back. And, yeah, of course we've all got to use devices and yeah. things, but it's uh, just nice to give it a little break. Oh, thank you. That was actually <laughs> really nice to know. Okay. Yeah. Glad Super. Asked. That's okay. So uh, we'll see you a couple of years, if not before. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. No problem at all. You're thank welcome. You.